Man, this park has a very creepy allure to it. It's like uh, going in Ukraine next to Chernobyl and you find parks like these. <sighs> I hate that. I really do because I'm on a diet. I managed to lose five kilograms and now I see sugary beverages everywhere. Sugary beverages wherever I go. Where can I make the recording, huh? Should I, should I sit on this one? It, do, it doesn't look very sturdy. I lost a lot of weight, but uh, I, I ain't gonna risk it. I found out what I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit here like a boss. Okay. Let's, uh, let's talk about things. Here we go. How are you guys doing? Hmm? I noticed that a lot of you enjoy these uh, outdoor experiences, this uh, filming in nature. When I'm going to finally get a house, if the bank approves my loan, um, I'm going to uh, install equipment to film from my garden. I need to buy a house with a beautiful garden, probably a gazebo too. Anyway, right. YouTube. They did the two very interesting things. On one hand, they re-monetized Steven Crowder. And I'm like, what? Remonetize Steven Crowder? That is like the only time that I have heard about a channel which got demonetized for political content and then got re-monetized again. Uh, Sinatra Says, for example, is still crying at the doors of YouTube so that they can answer about his plea. I think to this day they didn't answer. Uh, I don't know. I don't know any channel that got remonetized actually. So that's that's very interesting, you know. Uh, Carlos Maza was very upset on Twitter. He's upset. He's like, oh my God! They remonetized Steven Crowder, the mad lad that uh, made the playground insults. How dare he? Yeah. So um, that happened, and I'm like, oh, interesting, you know. If uh, you're the charitable type, it's like, oh, look, YouTube is giving second chances to people. If you're the uncharitable type, you could say, well, maybe it's so they can control him, you know? Uh, it's very difficult to talk about uh, controversial issues, well, political issues in general, because almost everything gets demonetized. You can't talk about tragedies. You can't talk about controversial issues. You can't show any type of violence or no footage from protests and whatnot. Peaceful protest footage uh, is, isn't okay on YouTube as I understand it. Um, you can't talk about a lot of things because they get demonetized. And it's not just you're losing the money. No, no, no. If it gets demonetized, the video gets suppressed. Um, and I notice this on the algorithmics, like videos that get demonetized. Um, I have my subscribers complaining and saying they didn't get a message when I released the video, you know. So you as a content creator, if you have four topics to talk about, um, you're probably going to choose the one that's uh, least controversial. I try not to do that. Well, I do, but like in this week in Stupid, I add everything. So there's that. If you want to see controversy, watch my weekly segments. Um, right. Here's an interesting thing. Uh, YouTube also yesterday announced that uh, they're going to change things because the elections is coming, right? So it's their responsibility as a multi-billion dollar for-profit corporation uh, to make sure that there is no election interference. It's their responsibility. Remember when you voted for multi-billion dollar corporations to have the responsibility? Well, they do now. So what does this mean? And I'm reading this, right? And it starts a little bit interesting, like um, they're not going to allow people to encourage any type of voting suppression. And they give an example like encourage people to form big lines that would prevent others to go to vote. You know, like that, that's reasonable. Yeah, I, I can see, you know, like, OK, fine. I mean, in my opinion, should be up to the cops to do that, not a for-profit organization, but we live where we live, you know, like the telephone company wouldn't stop people from talking about whatever they want. The cops would, though, but, you know, like, okay, fine. But then they talk about something very interesting, something very specific. You know how every single general fights the last war? 
Well, now YouTube is not going to allow uh, content which comes from hacking on their platform anymore. So if you have, let's say, something from a candidate which is about hacking, like someone hacked, let's say, Joe Biden's server, they're not going to allow that on YouTube anymore. They're going to remove the videos. Isn't that interesting? Kind of makes me think about Hillary Clinton's emails a little bit. You know, kind of makes me think about uh, John Podesta's phone a little bit. The cops are coming for me, look. The sirens are there. Or, or is it the fire? No, I think it's the fire department, yeah. This video is on fire right now, talking about all the hot topics. Can you pass already? Jesus. We're going to have to ignore them. But anyway, right, so... I guess uh, it's uh, what they said. It's true, right? You're not allowed to read it, but CNN can. <laughs> but like, I, I, I bet people like um, Snowden would be considered far right now, wouldn't they? You know, like at the time, Hero, right now, they would be punished by social media. Uh, investigative journalism is not just dead, it's punishable. Like, if you, if you manage, I guess, to... You know, find some files from Donald Trump, which, let's say, they're problematic. You know, it shows Russia collaboration, right? You're not allowed to talk about them on YouTube. I'm pretty sure they're going to enforce that equally, right? I'm pretty sure, you know, it's uh, probably it's very similar, like uh, the video with Floyd. That showed violence, and yet... It went viral on all of these social platforms that don't allow violence. Isn't that interesting? Yes, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be applied equally. The thing that I have to ask about, like, why did they do it so subtly? Why did they do it under the cover of the night? Uh, because, you see, on their official Twitter handle, they didn't release anything about this. They didn't say anything about it. Like, you, you have to actually go and find out this new rule that you're not allowed to show content which comes from hacking. And how do they want creators to follow the rules if we don't know what the rules are? Or do they know, like, the public? Do they know that the public as a whole wouldn't like this rule? Like, the public as a whole disagrees with the fact that you're not allowed to show content which can come from a hacked source. I mean, how, how, do, how do they expect to catch politicians lying or... You know, to, to catch politicians up to no good. Like, do they think the politician is going to admit it? How many cases are there of buildings burning? Jesus. Second one. Yeah. No, but but it's, uh, it's quite fascinating. And then uh, it's also interesting if you realize that this new change in the service comes exactly in the same day when the New York Times gets hacked. So I guess I can't show you what uh, what the information was on this video, right? I'm sure you can. Is, is it wrong if I can tell people that it happened and they happen to search about it for themselves? Is that, hmm? Is that against the rules? Because I don't know what the rules are anymore. Like, if you're going to just sneak rules under my bed hoping that I would find them, uh, that might be a problem. <laughs> oh, and then they, it's also the same uh, thing with... Um, they're going to push authoritarian sources uh, as if they weren't doing this by now. Actually, you know, like for a while, they stopped pushing authoritarian sources. Uh, I haven't seen Tucker Carlson in my recommended section for quite a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're the only ones enlightened enough to talk about the elections. Other people don't. Other people should just shut the fuck up, listen and vote. Huh? Man, can you imagine if the phone company was that authoritarian? You know, like a couple of years ago before all this. Can you imagine like, if the phone company would listen to every single phone call that you do and make sure that uh, what you're saying is accurate? You know, like you're not allowed to lie to other people on the phone. You're not allowed to misinform people on the phone. Um, and, and you would just have like some government official listening to your, to your private calls. Isn't that a world we want to live in, huh? <laughs> Yeah, the authoritarian uh, technocracy. I'm curious, like, if Trump will win, just how much more censorship will come. Because I told you a couple of videos ago, like, the censorship is coming. Like, get get, get ready for it. Bring the bottle of lube. Because it's here. 
And this is just YouTube. We're going to see what the other social media companies have in store. Thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you on the next video.